Wow, this is not how I expected to start my vlog today, but this is how we're starting it. Real and raw, that's how we keep it on this channel. Um, so today is the 1st of, first of December. Yeah, we still can't talk. Maybe next year. Um, and I am, I've been working, okay, well, no, let's not lie. <laughs> I went and fetched a dress that I got made this morning and um, it's currently in the machine. I actually need to hang it up. I put it on like a delicate hand wash setting. And um, yeah, anyway, so Blaze and I are going to be doing an engagement shoot as soon as um, Sky and Dylan have an opening for us. Um, that is actually going to be our engagement shoot, like a proper one, so that we can finally send out the save the dates, like, oh my gosh. Anyways, so I did that, then I went to, and got my bikini waxed, I did a full freaking Brazilian. Um, that's how I kind of do it nowadays, because as much as the IPL works, um, shaving gives me so many ingrowns and I just can't handle the pain of them, so waxing has definitely decreased that a lot and my hair is actually like almost all gone from waxing so that's great um and then i am back home now i've just been editing i've loaded a new vlog wow that's a really unflattering angle okay but anyways i've been struggling so much for the past i think it's almost been like six months now i just haven't really thought anything of it i like with bloating and it's been such a struggle for me so i actually watched a documentary the other day when i was coming back from durban and i watched it on the plane i downloaded it before it like was suggested to me so i was like oh let me just i don't know what to watch i finished all my series let me watch this documentary so it was called what the health and it really um opened my eyes to a lot of things and i have decided to obviously slowly like just start going a little bit more plant-based um and just cutting out Could quite a bit Could you try again? why is this chick listening to me go away anyways so yeah i am slowly transitioning to going a bit more plant-based i'm gonna cut out like a lot of red meat like as is straight away but like chicken and tuna i'm still gonna be eating here and there um and maybe a bit of like venison but I'm not going to be like having full-blown steaks or anything like that anymore. But I obviously have to do this very slowly. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And it's, you know, it, your body is going to respond very badly if you just go cold turkey. And also mentally, it will be a struggle. So that's what we're doing. Um, so I just think it might be better for your health in the long run. Um, and I don't really consume lots of dairy and stuff. But that documentary, like, really, like... It had me like thinking about life choices and stuff and like you know when you feel those kind of things you you know you need to act on it so that's what I'm doing um, it's gonna be hard uh, because I'm not really like the biggest fan of veggies and when I do eat veg like I just eat it as quickly as possible because I don't really want to taste it but I know that it's got nutritional value but I'm really gonna try I'm gonna like start making like very nice like chickpea curries I'm gonna cook more I think what's gonna help me in this whole going slightly vegan thing is cooking curries and Indian food because if it's spicy it kind of masks the veggie flavor I feel <laughs> but that's that's an update from me I know it's like a really abrupt like lifestyle change almost but I just think that it's probably what's best for me and I've been struggling to lose like fat around my back and just like the, 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 that extra little bit of fat that's like not healthy fat that's on your body I've been suckling to get rid of and I just think that it might actually be meat that's keeping all of that like onto my freaking structure that sounds wrong but yeah guys I hope you enjoy this first week of weekly vlog of vlogmas I just thought I'd give you an update on my diet and things because that's that's where I'm at so yeah guys so guys i completely forgot earlier i actually made um stir fry because i didn't want it to go off so i just wanted to cook it so that it was in the fridge so that i could eat it but it's just this isn't vegan it is vegetarian though it's egg noodles with um just veg through it and then like a little bit of sweet and sour sauce actually doing vegetarian let's just say that like slowly going vegetarian and then from vegetarian we'll go into other aspects of life but currently I think if I go cold turkey, it's just going to screw up everything. I'm not going to do it properly like I would like to. I'm 
just excuse the way I look. But um, I'm really excited. This is basically my mini wedding dress. Um, this is part one of the wedding dress, should I say. Because I think on my wedding day I might. I feel like I'm starting like wedding talk already. And I haven't even started planning this wedding. But I think though on my wedding day I might have two dresses or maybe not two but just one that's like quite transitional because I want like I don't actually know what I want like do I want long sleeve do I want a short sleeve do I want like a sheer sexy vibe do I want like a low back I feel like you can't have it all in one dress although we will try but I'm really excited and we've kind of set a date but we kind of haven't the year is definitely 2023 because yet next year is just a little bit too soon for us because weddings are expensive and Blaze has a lot of family that's like all over the place so we need to make sure that everyone is in one area so we can have our wedding and have everyone there that we want there and also that we can obviously afford everything we want to afford and not like hold back on anything that we really really want so we are waiting a little bit although I feel like it's going to be next 2023 before we even know it and yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Hey guys, so um, yes, I know my hair looks atrocious. It's been like four days since I washed it, but I'm gonna wash it now. And also, I think I fucked it up sideways with lying in the sun today. <laughs> like, look at this. Okay, I've got this massive bruise. So in my last vlog, you would have seen the hotel that I stayed in. Like it was a bath shower situation and I'm so used to like a spacious shower and um, what happened was so I was sitting in the bath because it was early in the morning and I'm sure I'm out of breath from running up the stairs anyway so I was sitting in the bath with the shower like obviously like flowing on me and I decided okay let me get up but like I got up and turned and like the tap hit me it's quite a hectic one look there okay that doesn't look so hectic any um wow well, this is like pornography Apologize in advance, but anyways, look how red I am. Look how red this is. Mm. Fucked it up sideways. Um, and also, if you don't like my language, then you can leave because this is how I talk. This is my vibe, and that's how I fucking do it. But yeah, I'm gonna wash my hair now, and I don't actually know what shampoo to shampoo. <laughs> I don't know what shampoo to use. I don't know what shampoo to use because I've got so much freaking shampoo in the last month. I'm gonna do a major giveaway like a Christmas giveaway and um, like I've got so many unopened, not un yeah, unopened and opened shampoos but I think, yo I need to reorganize these drawers. <laughs> Do yourself a favor and if you ever renovate your bathroom don't get loads of storage space because you just clutter this thing full. Um, I think I need a bit of a purple wash. Let me finish this one it's almost done and then what else but i also need to do a pre-shampoo what happens to that body shop one i swear i got sent to body oh there okay i'm gonna use this body shop shampoo it's actually really good and it's like vegan and this and that and this and that and then oh wait no i'm not gonna use this one because this one's still full i'm gonna use this one <laughs> i switch up shampoo and conditioner like okay i'm not gonna use the analogy that I was going to use because it's quite atrocious um, I'm going to use this and then shh, conditioner wise I'm going to go in with a hair mask and conditioner I know people say you shouldn't do that but I think it's the same thing it's just a little bit more thick okay guys let's do it can you guess what this is understand I'm obsessed I'm obsessed guys how great 
me literally saying I'm going slight vegan in my vlog earlier and look at my dinner. Mm. <laughs> Lars. This is all mine. I'm not sure what you're having. So, whenever I clean the... Oh, the tumble dryer's on. Whenever I clean the kitty litter, like today, let me quickly show you. Look who is always the first man on the scene. He likes to mark the territory. Hey, my boy. He always likes to piss in it first. Here you go, boy. You can use it now. Watch, he'll use it. Let me walk away. actually have not been speaking on this vlog um, because I've been cleaning my fridge how fucking disgusting was it to begin with honestly shocking 10 out of 10 would not recommend letting your fridge get to that stage but I'm so happy look how, cl Oops. Look how clean she is she is literally sparkling clean I'm just letting it air out a bit before I put any groceries back in because I did use like quite a strong mildew clean cleanser <laughs> cleaner just to get rid of all of like the build up and oils and stuff and it's like it smells like a brand new fridge currently and then i'm also leaving it off because the freezer is still busy defrosting the freezer was actually like disgusting like i don't know how it's obviously because of load shedding but you know when the freezer goes off and then it stays it can't like get cold enough quick enough so it just freezes so there's like a whole bunch of like build up you would have seen that I failed terribly at trying to get rid of it with hot water. But, yeah, I'm just busy airing it out and then I'll pack everything back as soon as... Or maybe I should just pack it back now, but just keep it open. Because everything's standing here anyway, so I might as well pack it back neatly. And then, it actually doesn't smell too, like, too strong. Do the freezer situation later. But I want to, like, make sure I pack everything, like, really aesthetically pleasing. Just because I can't clean my fridge on a vlog and not pack it like an Instagram store would sell fridge like dividers to you. You know like those those fridges? Those unrealistic fridges that I don't understand how people keep it like that? Those ones. Can we just be honest? The only fridge in this house that is aesthetically pleasing is our garage fridge. Let me show you. She is a beauty. So this is what I mean by an aesthetically pleasing fridge. So everything is like quite organized. Um, that's like tonics and stuff and ginger ale. We've got the Woolies Vanilla Coke, these sugar-free sparkling iced teas, sugar-free iced tea, these Pura sodas. Believe it or not, I thought that these were the sugar-free ones, but it turns out I bought the sugary ones, which sucks. But yeah, then we've got Pepsi Sprite Zero. This is a campaign that I'm shooting, so I just want to make sure that the wine is cold. We've got Blaze's beers over there. Water, water. We always have water in here. This is actually, this fridge is so cold that this water actually freezes up. Um, we've got Willie's fruit juice, an open bottle of red wine, extra beers. <laughs> we've got my favorite um, Babylon store and wine. This is like a nice, cheap. Whoa. But, anyways, this is like a nice, cheap, like sparkling wine. It's a goodie. We've got some gin. And yeah, this is what an aesthetically pleasing fridge looks like. But it's not the same with food. It's never the same.
happy Saturday. Why do I always say happy like that day? Anyways, good morning. It's Saturday. Why is this so Um. Anyways, this is my iPhone because it's a typical sailor. She brought her camera along and it's dead flat. Or at least I got a SD card this time. You know, I'm step and moving up in this world. Anyways, um, we are in PE. Blaze is busy getting his hair cut. He should be done almost any minute now. 36 minutes for a haircut. Yes, see, the man didn't even have much hair to begin with. Um, anyways, I'm waiting for him in the car because I just wasn't listening for people. <laughs> not like I'm not listening for people. It's just like I'd rather sit in the car than sit inside a salon, you know, um, especially if I'm not getting my hair done because I'm getting my hair done on the 13th. Um, but after he is done, woo! Wow. Wake up. Um, after he's done with his hair, we are going to go to Nolio and get Italian. And then I think when we get home, we're going to make a Christmas bed. Because the weather is looking rather, like, shitty. I don't know, we might even not eat there. But I'm, like, really hungry. I know Blaze doesn't get hungry. Like, it's it's so annoying. Because I'm always hungry about to get hangry. And he'll be like, no, no, no I'm okay. It's, like, 5 o'clock in the evening. No, he hasn't eaten for the day. It's fine. Don't get it. I'm always hungry. So, yeah, that's the plan. I would prefer to get food ASAP Rocky, but I don't know what his plans are. But I think we should just eat there. It's like a man. Then after that, we are just going to eat ourselves into oblivion. The only reason I want to eat there is because I want to get tiramisu as a dessert. And I don't know, like, I'm so scared that their tiramisu is in, like, a glass or something. And then, like, you can't really take it home because it's in a glass. But I'll, I'll find out, because maybe it's a slice, and then I can take some tiramisu home. Remember at the beginning of this vlog, I literally said, like, I wanted to try going vegan or whatever. Or, like, just eating more plant-based. Let's just, let's just leave it at trying to eat more plant-based. You know, and, like, substituting things here and there. Because I am struggling to wrap my mind around cutting out the things I love so it's gonna be a tough one for me i'm just gonna stick to saying that i'm gonna eat more plant-based and actually like eat things that are more plant-based so yeah i think that's the way to do it for now and then maybe we'll see what happens in the future we don't know but currently i don't know i don't know don't ask just don't say anything let's just pretend i didn't say it i'm just putting it out into the universe um so that i hopefully i can manifest it and maybe my mind can just let go of all the things it loves but we'll see you know, you'd think, like, Blaze used to be... Well, he is still, but, like, he just doesn't do any work. But he, like, not work as in work. I mean, like, he doesn't, like, do modeling. And he's he was... He is a boss model. Look. The man is so hot. Look, look at him. You'll see when he gets in the car now, like, oh my gosh, my ovaries are literally exploding. Yo, he just got a fresh cut. He always looks his hottest when he's got a fresh cut. Oh, he loves to chat shit, this guy. Guys, Blaze is a chat sh a professional chat shit. Blaze just talks cuck all the time. He literally, guys, when he gets home from work, he'll literally just start talking. And then he won't stop until, like, <laughs> I don't even know. He'll go for, like, hours just chatting just running on and i'm just like yeah blaze okay i know that's cool that's great you know mm. yes would you like to chat shit any longer hello but your hair looks fresh fresh it looks so much better huh? you've got like no hair left i thought you were gonna keep it long ish mm -mm. <laughs> 